polarized sunglasses. The best thing for fishing, glare blocking, and also allows you to see underwater and where the fish are. Now today I'm going to show you how to make them. I've got some normal sunglasses, which uh, these ones here, which aren't polarized, but uh, I'm going to show you how to turn them polarized. So firstly, let's take a look at the ingredients you need. So firstly, what you need is uh, some clip clip-on sunglasses. They're polarized, obviously. Uh, some seekers. These were three pounds. The the sunglasses that you want to turn polarized. Uh, micro screwdriver kit, uh, preferably 0.8 millimeters. Uh, suitable to go into the screws in the sunglasses. Some heavy-duty cutting scissors, kitchen ones and a permanent marker and lastly I forgot to show you some white or blue tack anything sticky like this so what you want to do firstly I've already done this but uh, what you want to do get your screwdriver and uh, go right into those screws and loosen those and you should be able to pop off your your lenses out so once you've unscrewed your lenses and you pop them out you just want to uh, you want to label them before you get confused because they look pretty symmetrical you might get them make, uh, mixed up so with these now labeled left and right you want to get your white tack and uh, just make some little balls like that should do and uh, you just want to stick them on the front of these lenses just like that and then do the same for the left lens and then you want to position them so they fit within the arc of the polarized lens that you're going to be putting in. So I'll push it real hard. So quite a nice fit there. Okay, maybe I had too much, too much contact. Let's make it a bit less. Okay, that's better. And then try to put that. So they're nice and level. Now you got to do them horizontally like this because if you have them skewed, the polarization won't work. You essentially need to keep them at the same. All right, so you've just been pressing these down, get these lenses nice and secure with the white tack. And uh, so if you look at them there, just nice and central, symmetrical. Uh, so what you want to do now is grab your permanent marker, your pen, and uh, you just want to draw around the profile of the original lenses on the polarized ones. So just go around there, try to keep as close to the edge as possible. So like that, that should do. Then do the same with the left lens. Now this is just uh, as a reference in case the lenses slip when you're cutting them with these scissors here. So you got that there. If you can see the outline, and all you really need to do now is just carefully cut round. Maybe you have to remove the remove the actual lens first from the main assembly. Makes it a bit easier. So, we, and then just carefully cut round. Now you just want to stay right on the outer edge of the lens. Don't go too close. Because you can always trim it down a bit later on if it doesn't fit, if it's too big. But if it's too small, you're going to have a gap on the frames. You don't want that. So just carefully cut around there. Just keep it right on the outside. Nice and smooth. There we go. Looks pretty good. Trim that corner off. And there we go. We got one one lens there. And then you want to grab this one, do the same, just trim that excess. We'll need that anyway. Just trim carefully around the edge. Be very careful not to move the lens when you're cutting them. So try your best. Okay, just trim that up. Okay, 
Okay, so now we've got two polarized lenses to go in the frames of your favorite sunglasses. All you need to do now is just uh, make sure you've got nice round edges. If there are a few bits that stick out too much, just trim them down a little bit. So all you need to do now is peel this off. Be careful not to scratch anything. So the white tack's done its job. That there. Now these little burrs here, these little sharp bits, I don't think they should shouldn't uh, pose too much of a problem as long as it fits inside the little alcove of the lens frame so grab your screwdriver keep those two screws from before from the lens you just want to pop these in This is a bit too big, so you might have to trim this one down. How's it going to pop in? Okay, this end is Okay, this one is too big. So you just want to trim this down a bit. Oops. Okay, so you want to Okay, so what you want to do is just trim it down a little bit And basically you just trim it down until it fits But you want a nice tight fit, you don't want it too uh, too loose even though you got the screws to tighten it up, you don't want it to be too loose because you can it can just pop out. So you reduce it on the top here as well. On the bottom. Okay. Grab the lenses again. Just basically keep on going until it fits. Okay, so I've just trimmed this out. Hopefully this fits. Uh, okay. And it seems like this is a pretty close fit. Hopefully close enough. Right. So if you notice, now you get to this point, if you notice from the back, there are little gaps here. Because my trimming skills are not the finest, but if you, there will be gaps, but you just got to live with them. You probably won't even notice, but hopefully when you screw the lenses in and and shut them closed, that the gap should disappear. So what you want to do is grab your screwdriver. Now this is the trickiest bit. You want to clamp this down with your fingers. I hope it doesn't pop out. Make sure it's in the groove. Make sure the lenses are in the grooves of the original where they're meant to be. Okay. Right, so you grab your screwdriver. And you gotta get that in there. Get that screw in there somewhere. Sorry with a bad angle. So I just rested it there. Hopefully it's gonna find its way in it did. Thank you very much. Then you just screw that in. Now the second one, I've just uh, I've already put that one in. And you find your screw, drop it in again. Hopefully you'll find its place. Yep. Okay. Just get you this bit. Okay. That is screwed in. Tied up a little bit, and uh, it seems like it's in the groove. And there we go. 
So there's your favourite sunglasses, now polarised. Try it yourself.